Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are back with what this channel is all about. The bread and butter of this channel, Die Cast Masters Caterpillar Products. Today, I'm showing you the latest addition to the Die Cast Masters Caterpillar Core Classics lineup. Disregard the little typo that's on the outer shipping box. This is the 1 to 50 scale Cat 365BL Series 2 Hydraulic Excavator in 1 to 50 scale. For reference and for your information, the item number is 85058C. Of course, the C at the end of the item number always designates this is a Core Classic Series model. So a little bit of back information about this particular uh, scale model. Going way back, I'm talking about the late 90s. This model started life in the Norscott Caterpillar range, and uh, it was one of the first excavators that Norscott ever did in 150th scale. It stayed in their lineup the entire duration, and then uh, carried over into the Diecast Masters days. Uh, it even was a Norscott Core Classics, believe it or not, when they did the Core Classics, so it was always a very, very popular model. But it was missing one thing that collectors always had an issue with, and that was the fact that it didn't come with metal tracks. Well, as Diecast Masters always does, they listened to you, the collector, and they heard your cries for amending the 365. And this version, I'm proud to tell you, and I'm about to show you, features a lot of updates, including the metal tracks. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and take a look at it. So, all Core Classic Series models come in the brown outer shipping box. They do not come in the metal tin like the Highline Series models do. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. This model also has a couple other goodies that are included with it, which I certainly hope to see becomes more of the norm rather than the exception going down the line. There is the packaging. You can see that once again we do have a little bit of a typo on the packaging, so hopefully that gets rectified for later runs of this model, but really in terms of it affecting the actual model, it's not a big deal at all. But in fact, it is the CAT 365 BL Series 2 excavator, not the 356. That's okay. We all can be a little dyslexic sometimes, definitely myself included. Once again, the item number is 85058C, Diecast Masters logo up on top. On the back, you can see the real 365 working. Now note, I know this is going to be an issue, so I will get the elephant out of the room right now. The 365, when it came out, was never offered in the trade dress or the paint scheme that you will see here. It was offered in uh, the Pyramid logo that many people say, or the Power Stripe logo, and not the Power Edge logo that came out in 2007, which is what's on this one. However, I have determined that if you are a collector, there's a way to get around this. Uh, when older cat equipment go for refurbishment and are often repurposed and put back into service, sometimes they are repainted, and I have actually seen pictures of a 365 that actually has this style graphic and paint scheme on it. So it is not out of the realm of possibility that you would not see a real 365 with this power scheme and this graphics and stuff on it. So do not let that detract you from buying this. And of course, if you have a whole lot more skill than I will ever have, if it really bothers you that much, you could always strip this model down and uh, repaint it and re-decal it up in the correct error correct scheme. But I do want to address that uh, elephant in the room because I know it's going to be an issue. I just don't want that to detract you immediately and have you shut off the video before you even get to see the model itself. All right, so there is the information about the Real Cat 365. If you're into that kind of thing, please at this point pause the video now and uh, go ahead and check and read that stuff. The rest of us, we're going to go ahead and unbox it. So the 365 is a rather large excavator. So the model is somewhat large as well. Cool thing about these Core Classics models, very simple. They come in this plastic pull-apart style packaging, which protects the model from any shipping damage that may occur. And you don't have to deal with pesky, irritating, annoying twist ties. Just pop the model out, and you are ready to display it on your shelf. Also in the box, you have the Diecast Masters catalog. This one is still the 2019 edition. And here's the surprise. These are really cool. So like the cat uh, black backhoe, the 420, you have some 1 to 50 scale figures. Now these figures are very generic. They're not painted or detailed. Uh, again, you can, if you want to, 
detail them out. As you can see, these figures may look very, very similar to some of us in the 150 scale community. Uh, in fact, they're just not painted or detailed. This guy is uh, probably a supervisor on his uh, handy talkie or perhaps his cell phone, and he is pointing in the direction of where he wants something to go. So that is character A. You also get character B. And this guy is looking at the plans for the job. It's very cool. I'm a big fan of this. Let me know if you guys uh, like this little addition. Just something extra, very cool that they included. Of course, they didn't have to do this at all, um, but I like this. And definitely those that are big into customizing and have the patience to paint and detail these out, certainly I expect to see uh, on Instagram and Facebook and in the collector community some really, really cool figures detailed out in uh, company vests and company colors. So, super cool to see those. Great job, Diecast Masters. Huge fan of those. All right, on to the actual model itself, what you all came here to see. So there it is. I uh, already addressed the paint scheme that it's in, so we don't need to talk about that any longer. Here's the wonderful metal tracks, which again, are great. And if I were to have these back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when I had the Norscott version, I would have been thrilled. It would have been fantastic. You can see that the highlights with the piping and the hydraulic lines have all been redone as well from the Norscott version to give it a much more realistic fit and finish. Over here, your ladder and grab railings. Those are now all in metal and much thinner and much more to scale. Over here, on your stick and boom, you can see that the uh, screws that hold everything together have now been painted so that they don't stand out too, too bad. Now, guys, remember, this is not a brand new casting or model. This thing has been out for the better part of tw uh, over 20 years. So you got to give it its due diligence there and give it a little bit of leeway. Um, again, the tracks are a brand new metal component. And if you look, they have the tie-down points and warning labels on them as well to give them some detail. I already showed you that they are linked and they will roll by hand or on any surface that has some friction. Let's get on to the functionality of the actual excavator to see how well that performs. You can see that it will go up to there, which is very respectable. Curl out to there, which leaves just a little bit of the piston exposed, not too much at all. For digging, we're going to go there. Which again, not bad at all, just a little bit of your cylinder being exposed here. And for curling, you can bring it in to about there. Which again, for as old as this basic casting is, that's not bad at all. Do some of the newer Diecast Masters Highline Series excavators perform much better than this? Well, yes, of course, but they're they're much newer castings that have been designed and improved. But this is a 20-plus-year-old casting, and for those of you that are a huge fan of the Cat 365, this is definitely an improvement that you're going to want to pick up and add to your collection. I do want to show you a couple other quick poses before we close out this video. Uh, one of these is going to be the first on-camera ever cameo appearance of the Peterbilt Diecast Masters dump truck. So we'll save that for last. That's what we call in the industry a teaser. Here is the Diecast Masters T800 low boy. Now I have this configured with one booster over here. I figured that would be a uh, pretty acceptable setup for an excavator of this size class. So we'll put him on here, make sure he's balanced, get him tucked in nice and tight, and put him on the low boy. Also, the really good thing about this is that the cylinders are so, so stiff that they're going to hold any pose. So that's how it looks on there. Just barely fits on the wide extension low boy set. Obviously, you're going to have a little bit of hang on either side because of the, the size of the machine, but still an impressive looking load. And last, but certainly not least, as promised, here is the brand new, soon to be released, Diecast Masters Peterbilt dump truck in blue. And 
You will get a review on this coming up very, very shortly. So do not fret. And we'll see how both of these look on camera. There you go. They make a pretty convincing pose. So there you have it, collectors. That is a brief review of the brand new Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 365 BL. We've gone over the pluses and a couple of the minuses associated with this model. I gotta say, overall, it's definitely worth adding to any uh, cat collector's collection due to the enhancements that have been made to this 20 plus year old casting. So please bear that in mind. It's wonderful to see it with metal tracks. And I gotta say, I'm I'm a I'm a stickler for for oldies, and I, I gotta say, as soon as they announced it coming out with metal tracks, I certainly could look past the uh, graphics that are used on this, especially since I have seen refurbished ones on the internet with this trade dress on it. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that you could see a real one looking exactly like this. You guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned. we got a lot of great stuff coming up here very shortly. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.